everybody! Welcome to day five of Contemporary Fun. She really likes to focus on the hobbits in the back, like I swear. Oh, there we go. Now it's on me. Um, I am just drinking some coffee. I had some breakfast. Are we going to yoga in like an hour? Less than an hour? But um, I'm going to try and read that next story in Hungry Hearts that I left behind yesterday. It's um, it's by someone I like. Why is my brain blanking? And I'm trying not to knock over my cup of pretty full cup of coffee. It is by I think it's in Chapeco maybe. <laughs> Opening a book one hand, it's hard. No, Rebecca Rowanhorse. Um, The Missing Ingredient by Rebecca Rowanhorse is the next one in Hungry Hearts that I'm up to, and I'm gonna read that now. Um, and check books off uh check my fill in my reading goals. Thing. See if I can film that. I'm not sure how, but maybe I can balance one handed. <laughs> and then when I get back from yoga, I will flick over to Technically You Started It and read a bunch of that. Somebody mentioned, I think it was Olivia from Olivia Reads a Latte, was saying that the camera preferentially wants to focus on books. So maybe that's my focusing problem. I'm annoyed with how, for like, little this focuses um like i have to force it to focus on me a lot um but yeah i'm going to continue on with technically you started it which i'm really excited for um i'm on page currently on page 106 but it was really easy to get there so i'm definitely going to finish this today i think <laughs> ideally hopefully unless like jesse drags me around town doing a million different things Um, I literally just scrambled for the camera because I just finished that story and what the actual heck what the actual heck if you've read this it's Rebecca Rowan Horse's story um, <laughs> I'm like emotional but also like whoa um, one thing I'm really like impressed with in this is that like the tone of all the stories are so different um which leads to really unexpected twists like that like i've read trail of lightning by rebecca rowan horse and i totally understand it suits her vibe so much but like in this context i kind of expected something different just because of the context of the collection but every time like like Elsie Chapman's story and this like just throwing unexpected twists at me and like I wasn't ready I wasn't prepared and it ended way too fast I I'm shooketh huh anyway that's like a 4.5 stars for that short story um oh do I have a rating for the last couple J Cole's one I think was maybe like a three I just don't think it paced right for me. Um, Caroline Town Richmond's one was like a four. Um, I wasn't a huge fan of Adele Says, so that was like a three. Oh, Orange Pegasus was earlier, I forgot about that. Um, I liked that one. That was like a 4.5. Yeah, yeah, I think those are all the ones I've read since, like, since I stopped actively remembering to give ratings for them. Um, so next one's Karuna Riazzi's Hearts a la carte, which coming after the last one, oh. So um, I'm gonna switch, actually I probably need to start getting ready for yoga soon. Yep, we're gonna do that. But um, I'll finish my coffee, fill in my um, reading checklist for those couple pages and then go to yoga. Yeah, okay. I'm still shook, I'm still, like, whoa. <laughs> it's now three o'clock. I've done nothing but finish the final season of Glee, go to yoga. Mm, that's it. <laughs> so I'm gonna go shower in a bit. Jess is showering first, but I'm gonna work on technically started it. Um, and I wanna get 100 pages in and then I'll read the next section, next story in Hungry Hearts. 
Let's go team. <laughs> I grabbed my tripod because I thought it was kind of necessary. I don't know if it makes any difference to you, but alas, I can kind of go further away. Um, I totally forgot. It's now like 4.30 to edit my vlog from yesterday. So we're going to do that super quick. Uh, and then I'm going to read a short story in Hungry Hearts. I don't know what's for dinner. It's a public holiday, so limited options. But I'm going to go do dishes as well after I've done like this bit. But I just showered, hence why I'm like in a different top. So progress for the day. <laughs> progress has been made. the next story in Hungry Hearts. Um, I'm gonna go cook some dinner now and I might film some footage of that. Um, cause I feel like I have like no footage from today. It's like 6.30. Um, and then I'm going back into the next 100 pages of, technically you started it. And then the next story and then finish, technically you started it. I'm gonna do that tonight. I'm gonna achieve these goals tonight. Cause uh, I think I could finish telling me how you really feel in a day and some result in a day. I would like to hope so, but it requires dedication to the goal and we definitely can't be carrying technically started until tomorrow. So. so I finished technically you started it. This, um, I don't know what to rate it really. Um, I personally really enjoyed it. Um, it's like a representing me kind of book, like sexuality wise, which I really liked. Um, and I thought the text messages were really genuine and sweet and like made sense. This does have, so essentially we follow Haley, who I assume is this front girl, who one day messages this guy from her class. She was given his number by a friend. Um, and both him and his cousin share the same name. So she says to him, which Malcolm, I think Malcolm, something like that. Which one are you? And he goes, the good one. <laughs> and so she assumes he's one of these cousins. He's actually the other one. So it does have a bit of a miscommunication kind of trope. But really, I know some people found it really difficult because there is like a certain extent of... It's, it's like lying, but not lying. He never actively says anything lying. He just doesn't tell her that, like, he doesn't make it clear to her. So he figures out pretty early on that she thinks he's his cousin. And he makes quite a few attempts to try and broach it with her. But because all their conversations are via text, and whenever they talk in person, she doesn't realize it's the same person. He kind of, I think he's just nervous and doesn't know how to tell her that she's made a mistake. And then he gets a bit deep into it. Um, but he does make several attempts. Even early on, there's little things he'll say that, like, she just doesn't pick up on. Like, he'll be like, oh, you've got it all wrong. And she'll just move on, thinking he's referring to something else. Um, so then he kind of ends up, like, neck deep in it till right at the end where, obviously, the resolution of the conflict is him, like, finally explaining to her like that's the main conflict is her finding out like him finally telling her that he is the other cousin um so it's not like an unpredictable book by any means i knew what was going to happen the whole way through but i enjoyed it it never felt malicious intent um 
which I think is one thing about like cheating or lying. Like it's the like malicious intent that I don't like. Whereas I feel like he just got way in over his head and didn't know how to have the conversation. And rather than like actively trying to reinforce a lie, like he does many times try and broach it to her. Like, nope, you're talking to the wrong one. But he doesn't want to come out and just be like, stop, 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 you're talking to the wrong one. Like, he's just not very good at talking about, like, getting it out there. But he was trying to tell her for a long time. I don't know. They're high schoolers. It seems normal. Like, very... Other than the fact that, like, as if you'd have two people in the school with the same name. Um, like, same exact name. But, yeah. It was fun and entertaining and really easy to fly through because it's told in the text format and I really liked Haley and I really liked M and it was just a fun time. I think maybe it's like a 3.5 stars. It's good, 3.75. I really enjoyed it but uh, I don't think it's for everyone because if you like are against any kind of lying, grey lying, <laughs> you wouldn't like it but I personally didn't mind it. So, yeah. I had a fun time. Anyway, I'm going to go read the next story in Hungry Hearts. Um, and then probably go to bed. But I might read a chapter or two of... Tell me how you really feel, just to get into it. It's like... Yeah, I probably have time. It's only... What? Oh, never mind. It's 11 o'clock. So, uh, yeah, no, I'm just going to read that short story in Hungry Hearts and then fall asleep. So, this is probably the end of this vlog. Actually, no, I'll tell you about the end of Hungry Hearts probably. Otherwise, this is the end of the vlog. <laughs> but we'll see. So, I just finished the next story. It was called Bloom by Karuna Riazi. No, Phoebe North. Karuna Riazi wrote the other one. Phoebe North. Um... I enjoyed it, though probably not as much as some of the others. It's definitely not my favourite. I think I liked the ending more than anything. Maybe that was just because it was sapphic. Um, I think overall I'd give it like a 3.5 stars. It was fine. So I only have three stories left. I'm going to try and maybe read all three tomorrow, but definitely read two tomorrow. And try and get all the way through. Tell me how you really feel by Amina Mae Safi. Is it achievable? Who freaking knows. But anyway, I'm going to sleep now, so... See you on the flip side. Good morning. Welcome to day six of Contemporary Sun, and I am hardly awake. It is 9.30. I was up for like half an hour, like just after six, because Trixie woke me up and I did some like social media checking and then went back to sleep. And now I'm like, I don't want to get up. But I'm going to go get some breakfast and start Hungry Hearts. Re in bed for a bit. Um, yeah, I'm up to, what's the next story, who wrote the next story? S.K.R. Lee wrote the next story, it's called A Bountiful Film, um, so I'm going to read that, and then I want to read lots of Tell Me How You Really Feel Today, I want to try and finish it today, is that achievable? <laughs> Definitely not if I sleep for another hour, so that's why we're getting it, but um, I don't know how much footage I'm going to have for today either. Like, oh, I don't know. I feel like my problem with vlogging is that I don't do anything interesting. <laughs> and when I do, it's something I can't really vlog. Like, I don't feel safe taking my camera. Like, I'm worried it's going to get broken. Or... I need to just start filming random clips on my phone, I feel like. Um, oh yeah, like I'm somewhere where I'm worried like like when I went shopping the other day I could have taken my camera in or I could have taken footage of my phone in the bookstore but like I don't know it's a small store <laughs> it's not big you can't hide from stuff um and I don't want anyone like wanting to sue me for putting footage in I don't know like I don't know the rules around that um photos in public place laws are really strange not really strange here they they're strange for a reason but, like, it's pretty strict. You can get away with some stuff, but, like, 
it has pretty solid rules around taking photos in public places. It's about taking photos of minors, like, it's very strictly in place. And there were kids, yeah, definitely kids there while I was shopping, so I definitely wouldn't have felt comfortable filming there. Um, so, like, yeah, I just feel like I ended up just talking to you, and I don't do anything interesting to do transition footage, because I'm not, like, a lot of people use bullet journaling for their transition footage. I try and get some shots of me reading from time to time, but I'm literally just lying in bed reading. Um, or cooking, and I was going to do cooking last night for yesterday's vlog, but that turned into a mess because I had to go back to the supermarket, um, and it took about half a second to do things, and then I had to go to the house. Oh, I was going to tell you last night, we did end up watching... And I was reading throughout, I actually managed to read throughout. Um, we watched an episode of The Good Place, which was good, the first episode of season four, whatever season they're on. And just starting. And we also watched two episodes of The Politician, which um, I had no idea. Like, until like days ago, I didn't really know it existed. Um, because I'm so far off, like, <laughs> haven't been paying attention to Ryan Murphy's new creations like they used to when I was a full in fandom. Um, but it was really good. Uh, I'm so confused because it's a comedy, but you... It doesn't really give you the beats for comedy. Like, you're laughing at things because they're obviously funny. But, like, everyone takes themselves so seriously that you, you feel guilty for laughing. Um... But it's so funny. Um, and I am really enjoying it. I don't... I'm interested to see how it plays out long term. But uh, it's like... To me, it it's like... Scream Queens minus a lot of the camp. Like, I think Scream Queens problems... Like, I loved Scream Queen season one. But season two... Kind of didn't walk the line super well for its camp. But... Uh, like, you know when to laugh at Scream Queens because it's super camp. Um, but they all take themselves ser super seriously. But the, like, lighting and the fashion choices and the way the jokes are made don't take themselves seriously. Whereas this kind of all takes itself a lot more seriously. Well, its filmography reminds me more of, like, American Horror Story or American Crime Story than... Scribkins, which is more like Glee. Um, yeah. But, like, Ian Brennan's on the writing team, so we know the jokes are there. <laughs> we know they're going to be solid. Um, anyway, yes, I'm going to go make breakfast. I'm pretty sure the cats have been fed, because she would have annoyed me long before now if they hadn't been. I'll go check. Um, and then, yeah. Go get some breakfast and start a reading. I'm looking at my list of books I want to read in October. They're like sitting over there. And they look so good. I, I feel like I'm out of my reading slump, especially this week. I feel like I'm like motivated to read and I'm reading a lot and I just want to like keep absorbing. So like I'm not like pushing myself to the full like height of what I was reading, which was like four books in just over a week. Like it was like eight days, four books every eight days. I'm going to cut my goals back to three, but if I finish them early, that'd be fine. <laughs> but I feel like I can start reading multiple books again. Um, I think my problem is that I feel like my four in a week was better than average for me. <laughs> so I feel like I need to like set my goals a little lower. I feel like I was just in an exceptionally good reading mood when I was doing four a week rather than like normal <laughs> but i feel out of my slump at least so that's something time to go make breakfast <laughs> okay i really liked that short story the lighting's a bit shocked that i didn't turn my overhead light on but uh that was um as carolee's story a bountiful film i think it had a really good arc and felt really complete and i really liked that um i'm not super i don't tend to like stories about making film per se like it's not a thing that i'm like yeah show me and sometimes if it gets caught up in the technological aspects of it i can get a bit like 
I have no idea what's going on. But no, it was a really good balance. I really liked it. Um, so now I'm going to go switch over to another book that just happens to include film elements. And that's Tell Me How You Really Feel. Um, but, uh, yeah, let's do that. Um, also look at this girl. She was trying to eat my hand before while I was reading, but now she's like, yeah, you're just a black void. You are. You're just a black void. No, she's all snuggly. Yeah, you're snuggly. You're snuggly. <laughs> so, I've decided I'm just combining these weekend's vlogs together. I was like, you know what, I'm going to have so much footage on the weekend. It's going to be great. And then, I filmed like hardly anything yesterday. I filmed like nothing today. It's now like 6pm. And I last talked to you this morning. I've read, I read the story from Hungry Hearts, which I talked about earlier. I've read a whole 40 pages of Tell Me How You Really Feel. Um, but I got distracted watching The Politician, Jesse, and then um, we watched the Footy Grand Finals. So uh, it was great. It was a fun time. Uh, but I haven't really done much reading. I was just reading during like quarter time, half time. Um, and we're also going to go see a movie tonight. So... I'm still going to try and get this book finished, but I'm not so optimistic. <laughs> hey! And yeah, so this is just going to be one vlog, which you can probably tell by the fact that I would have changed the title to be like, this day or this day. Um, but uh, I think it's just for the best. I Because I got to this time of the day, like 6pm, and went, I didn't know to get to this vlog, and I was going to do that this morning. And then I went, you know what, there was like three bits of footage, and there's like none from today. So we're just going to combine it all together. Make a weekend reading vlog for this last three days. And then it'll be a fun time. I'll edit it on Monday when I'm back in my normal editing schedule. And it'll be fabulous. And I'm gonna edit my I'm gonna film my whole Monday afternoon, so that can also be edited for next week. And then my wrap up will come sometime around then too. Okay, so hi key like totally forgot to update you last night what was happening. We went to the cinema, we watched um scary stories to tell in the dark and then I read a bit and went to work um so I'm now like <laughs> Sissy I'm now like 170 pages through uh tell me how you really feel so I'm like more than halfway but I really wanted to finish it last night we were talking about quite a lot and then it didn't happen um because we ended up watching things all day um i did finish hungry hearts this morning so the two stories that i read i read one last night and one this morning the one i read last night was sarah farazan's story side work which i enjoyed it was cute um and then the final one was anna marie mclemore's panaderia pastelaria and i really liked that one that was a bit shorter it was really cute though. So I've now finished Hungry Hearts, which was my 2019 release. And I'm gonna like go back to this, try and slam through it really quickly in a couple of hours and then see if I can slam through some result. I don't think this is achievable by any means, but we're gonna at least finish Tell Me How You Really Filmed today. Uh, and maybe get a good chunk into Summer of Salt, because I would like to read it this month. If I can manage it, we'll see. <laughs> So I just finished Tell Me How You Really Feel. I've been reading in bed. Um, I enjoyed this more than I kind of expected to because I was a bit worried because of some more reviews I'd read that had found the drama really like teenager -y and over dramatic and didn't really make sense. But personally, I really enjoyed it. There's a few dialogue issues where I just it didn't flow right for me, but I feel like that was a combination between like I'm not American. <laughs> um and Maybe, I don't know, is Amina Mesafi's first language English? I'm not 100% sure, but there were just a few times where the, like, dialogue, and not even dialogue, just random sentences didn't quite make sense. <laughs> or they were missing something to make it make sense to me. Um, but overall, I really enjoyed it. I really like both Rachel and Sana as characters. And I really liked the growth they went on throughout the film. I think it had, throughout the film, throughout the book, I think it had a really good arc, which I really appreciated. 
Yes. Sweetie's um Sunday evening. What did we do today? I got home from work and then we watched South Park. We did finish watching The Politician today. I don't know if I mentioned that earlier. I've worked quite a bit. I've been reading this, like finishing this. Um, we had dinner and now I'm going to bed. It's kind of an early night. It's only 9.30, but uh, I am dead tired, so I'm ready to sleep. Uh, so as a wrap up for the contemporary phone, I read six out of my seven books on my TBR. So I completed, I completed technically I completed all the challenges because you could definitely argue that some of the stuff I read was hard hitting. Um, but I didn't complete seven books, which was my original goal. But, um, I read six and I'm proud of myself. So I read, this was for something yellow on the cover, I think. Yeah, I think that's what it was for. Um, but overall, I had a great week. I'm sure this last vlog is like super boring because I feel like I've done nothing camera wise. But uh, um, I just have been like not doing anything that felt film worthy. Like, I don't know, do you want to watch half a second of a TV screen? I don't think so. Um, and I also haven't like. I haven't had that much time sitting and reading. I've been doing a lot of, like, getting little bits of time here and there. But anyway, thank you for coming on this journey this week with me through half a week of daily vlogs and this weekend reading vlog. Um, next week is the start of the Simsathon on Tuesday, and I'm just going to start some books Monday because I'm not a person that's fussy about, like, starting a book, like, right at the start of the readathon. Screw that. Like... Every book that you finish during the readathon time counts to me. So tomorrow I'll be starting some books for that. Um, oh, starting continuing books for that for two, starting one, continuing two, um, and I've plotted them out with little sticky tabs for the week. And hopefully I can get to finish them. The three books I have planned during the course of the week. Um, and otherwise. Mm -hmm. Oh, and I will be vlogging for Simsathon. Just for my normal, like, weekly vlogs that have become, like, stock standard now. Because um, content is great. And hopefully you enjoy kind of watching them <laughs> as much as I enjoy kind of filming them. I do need to get better. So if you have any suggestions for what I should do to make my vlogs better, comment down below. Let me know if you have any suggestions. But anyway... I don't have anything else to say and I'm just really late at this point. So have a good week wherever you are and i will see you next time with another video bye thank you for watching bye <laughs>